So we're asked to find the inverse element of A, and by definition an inverse element is uh, the element that you can combine A with to get the identity, the element that will undo A to give you back the identity element. So that means that first we need to find the identity. And by definition the identity of A is the element that we can combine A with. Uh, what can we do to A so that it maintains its identity? What can we do to A so that it stays A? So if we look at our chart, if I want A to stay A, I can combine it with B. So A at B gives me A. So because A at B gives me A, then B is my identity element. I can, um, it, the A stays A. So now, to find the inverse, uh, I, I need to find out what I can do to A that'll give me the identity. So what can I do to A to give me B? What can I do to A to give me B? Ah, that's C, because A at C gives me B. So, a little bit of alphabet soup there, but there you go. C is our inverse element, and that's our answer. Check.